Hello, we're here with Land Force Line today and there's a very innovative product called Color Shapers and uh, let's show them one. It's like a brush, but it's not it's more than a brush. So we're gonna find out all about it today. So you were involved in the development of this, isn't that correct, Lad? Yeah, we developed Color Shaper in 1994 and 5. Uh, we basically developed the tools for a replacement for your finger. Uh, most artists end up putting their finger in their work when they uh, uh, finger pain, yeah. uh, when they want to finish something. So we developed a range of uh, five different size tools um, and five different shapes. And then that actually there's a, a white hardness which is soft. There's a gray which is medium and a black which is uh, extra firm. And the black tip tools we're calling clay shapers. Those are basically for using with three dimensional so you materials, sculpt like and... sculpt plaster, clay, plasticine. Uh, wax. The tips are silicone rubber so they can take up to about 500 degrees of temperature so you can work with hot wax. So it's a real combination between a palette knife, your finger, and a brush. We developed these to basically enhance the use of your hand or your finger and have a more precise tool to use other than trying to work your finger into a corner to clean up a mistake or uh, add a little piece of color you wanted somewhere. The precision, the precision you can have with color shaper Is, you know, it's unlike any other tool. It's, it's, uh, it's got the flexibility and the feel you're, uh, of, a, um, of your finger with all of the characteristics of a palette knife and the handle and ferrule design of a brush. If you want to put down a background, this is a flat, a three inch wide flat uh, color shaper wide. You can just use it basically like a spreading right. tool. That really goes on uneven. It's very thin, very, very smooth strokes. Uh, you get used to using the tool, you can control any kind of uh, tracks or lines on it. Again, the nice thing about nice thing about color shapers is all you need to do is take a paper towel, wipe the tip off, and you're good to go. Great. And the color shaper, this is a flat chisel number 10. It's got the long working surface, the point. We've got the flat chisel, uh, color shaper flat chisel, and the soft. That's just uh, basically like a flat brush. We've got the round, which is the um, uh, most like your finger. We've got the, uh, the taper point, which is uh, basically just like a pointed brush, and then the cup chisel, which is uh, uh, like just what it is. It's a chisel tool. You can use this tool in reverse for, for extreme carving of the paint. A lot of times you want to work in conjunction with a brush where you put the, you put the, the uh, paint down on the canvas or on the paper and then go back into the color shaper and you can actually squeegee it or move it around. So in that case, you like uh, you get it on the surface first, and then you then you alter the way it lays on the surface. Yeah, you can you can uh, push uh, you can push boundaries around, and you can push edges around. So then we learned a lot today about uh, color shapers. Thanks for. See, I, I only had ten fingers, and now I've got uh, twenty-five more. At least twenty-five. I think there's over hundred in the range. So <laughs> fabulous. Color shapers come in various set assortments. There's reclining sets. There's sets for working with sculpture and clay. There's sets for watercolors, oils, and acrylics. And there's pastel blenders. Even a kit set.